Palace laying the groundwork for potential reconciliation with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, PR expert suggests, the British royal family may be quietly setting the stage for a future reconciliation with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, according to PR expert Ryan McCormick. Despite the ongoing rift between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family, recent moves by the palace suggest that they are open to mending fences with the estranged couple. Speaking exclusively to the Mirror, McCormick pointed to the recent deletion of a 2016 statement made by Prince Harry against the press's treatment of Meghan, who was his girlfriend at the time, as a potential sign of the royal family's intentions. I wouldn't be surprised if there are other statements and information that have been quietly deleted or modified over the years, he said. McCormick believes that the royals are laying the groundwork for a future reunion by removing these negative digital footnotes to distance and diminish their impact on public perception. He suggests that this could be a strategic move to pave the way for a full reconciliation with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The PR expert acknowledged that while some of the Sussex's controversial actions will never be forgotten, the couple can improve their likability by making headlines for positive things, such as goodwill trips and charitable initiatives. I think both need to remain in the royals and public's good graces for a prolonged period of time before hearts of forgiveness can be opened, McCormick added. The deleted statement, issued by Prince Harry in November 2016, slammed certain news outlets for the racial undertones of comment pieces and the outright sexism and racism of social media trolls and web article comments directed at Meghan. The statement came in response to an article in the Mail on Sunday, which read, Harry's girl is, almost, straight out of Compton. Gangscarred home of her mother revealed so will he be dropping by for tea. In the now-deleted statement, Prince Harry expressed his concern for Meghan's safety and his disappointment in not being able to protect her from the onslaught of media scrutiny and harassment. It is not right that a few months into a relationship with him that M.S. Markle should be subjected to such a storm, the statement read. He knows commentators will say this is the price she has to pay and that this is all part of the game. He strongly disagrees. This is not a game it is her life and his. The deletion of this statement, which had been on the royal family's website for seven years, comes amid ongoing tensions between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped back from their roles as senior royals in 2020 and have since made a number of bombshell allegations about life behind palace walls, further straining their relationship with the institution. Despite the current state of affairs, the palace's latest move to remove the controversial statement suggests that they may be open to a future reconciliation with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. As McCormick notes, positive headlines and charitable initiatives could help improve the couple's likability and potentially lead to a thawing of relations with the royal family. However, the road to reconciliation is likely to be a long and challenging one, given the depth of the rift between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family. The couple's allegations, which include claims of racism and a lack of support for Meghan's mental health struggles, have caused significant damage to the relationship and will likely take time and effort to repair. Prince Harry feels a headache when visiting the UK, because, Prince Harry recently returned to the UK to participate in events related to the Invictus Games, but he received a mixed reception when he was unable to reunite with the royal family. Prince Harry is having trouble returning to the UK as he continues to receive bad publicity during his visits, according to a royal expert. The Duke of Sussex flew to London earlier this month to take part in various activities related to the Invictus Games. While many fans were happy to see him return to the UK, critics criticised him for not meeting the royal family. It is believed that King Charles was too busy to see his son but conflicting reports now claim that it was Harry who turned down the reunion. Royal author Tom Quinn said the speculation and bad press gave Harry a permanent headache when he returned to the UK, he told the Mirror, when he returns and hides from his family, he will get bad publicity, if he doesn't return and stays in his mansion in California, he will get bad publicity. And his father and sister-in-law both have cancer. He can't win unless he makes a real effort to visit them, and that's something he can't do on his own. It's not a pretty look. Harry and Meghan's image of youth and physical health are so locked in their feud with Harry's family that even a serious illness isn't enough to spare the couple. Forget and forget, at the time of Harry's visit, 
a spokesman revealed that he would not be meeting King Charles. In a statement, they said, unfortunately, that will not be possible due to Her Majesty's full program. The Duke is of course fully aware of his father's engagement log, as well as many other priorities and hope to see him again soon, however, it was reported that Charles had asked to meet his son, but was instead turned down by Harry. It is believed that Charles offered his son the chance to stay at the royal residence. But Harry turned his father down and decided to stay at a hotel. The Sunday Times reported that Charles made this offer, because he knew his son no longer had an official residence in the UK. The last time Harry saw his father was in February. The Duke of Sussex rushed to the UK to meet the monarch after it was reported he had been diagnosed with cancer. They enjoyed a brief 30-minute conversation before Harry returned to America.